Hey, welcome back to the Usable Marketing Podcast. I'm Ginger Zumeda, and I'm so glad you're here. And today, we are talking about the McKinsey 7S Diagnostic, or, or um, what else would it be called? It, it's sort of a way of organizing or, or thinking about how all of your organization hangs together. And what it allows you to do is go through seven um, S's, seven kind of different modules to think like, what's going on here, what's going on here, what's going on here, what's going on here. So, um, we are, uh, imagine you have your imaginary whiteboard. Uh, I'm on the road today, so I don't have my whiteboard in front of me. Imagine the whiteboard is right here. Um, but uh, I'll shoot you a link um, in the show notes and also in the, um, everywhere that you need it, basically, to be able to understand really what the 7S structure is. So here's why the 7S um, structure is, is really powerful. I'm gonna go through the 7S's, um, what they are, and kind of hang how they hang together. But there's basically, there's three what they call hard elements, and that is strategy, structure, and systems, right? So you need to examine your strategy, your structure, and your systems to see what's going on there. Are you, do you have in each of those components what you need in order to accomplish the goal of the company, basically. And then um, the four soft elements are, first I'll go through its staff, style, and skills, right? So there's that's three, but then the fourth one that sits really at the center of all of the other ones is um, shared values, right? So, so let's kind of talk about uh, how these things, I'm gonna go through them one by one. It's a really great diagnostic tool. If you're trying to figure out like, what's going on in my company? How do we accomplish this goal? How do we get ready for expansion or a new product service line or whatever it happens to be? I mean, I highly recommend this structure. It's an oldie but a goodie. I've been using it for ages. Um, it's really good if you're kind of doing big complex work. So let's think of it first. Okay, strategy, right? So strategy is basically the high level, what, are we trying to do and how? How are we trying to do it? So I'm not gonna go deep into strategy, hopefully you know what strategy is, but it's taking a look at strategically, have we put together everything that we need in order to get to our goal, right? So a lot of times when we're, when we're thinking about marketing and we're thinking about strategy, we might be thinking like, well, what are the fundamental fundamental elements that I need to examine and put into place in order to accomplish my goal? I tend to think of, uh, because I'm in marketing, a lot of times um, in terms of the funnel, right? So I'm trying to figure out like, which part of the funnel are we trying to attack right now? Is, is it the top of the funnel, we just need more awareness? Is it the bottom of the funnel, we need more um, retention? So, so taking a look at all of that stuff. Okay, the next one, is structure, right? So what is structure as opposed to systems? So systems, or let me go to structure, <laughs> rather. Structure is sort of the organizational um, uh, hierarchies or matrices or whatever they happen to be. Like, how is the company actually structured so people know their roles, goals, and accountabilities? Like, I tend to think that when, when I think of structure, I'm a lot of times thinking of, um, like the racy model, a whole nother model we can talk about another time, but um, roles and goals and governance, right? Is the structure in place for you to be able to accomplish what you need in terms of um, the people, really? Do they know what to do? Now, processes or systems, so that's the third S, we've basically done strategy, we've done structure, and now we're doing systems. Systems are the processes, right? And the processes aren't only kind of software processes or hardware processes. It, it's really what are all of the processes in place, the processes of the organization at a whole, at a, at a department level, what processes are in place to get the work done. Um, as we all know, like failure of process just creates a lot of variance, which doesn't create the best customer experiences. So processes and structure work really well together to make sure that you've got something that is repeatable over time, right? And that's super important. Now, when we get into soft skills, what, what hangs all of those things together? Well, there are the skills, not just of the people themselves, but of the institution. 
does the institution or the, the company have the skills required to go to market in whatever area you're going to market? And at the individual level, do they have the skills or is training required? Right? So, so what do you need to kind of think about from a skills perspective? Then there's staff. Staff is the actual human capital. Do we have the, the, the capacity and the people to get the work done? So that's what, um, that's what staff is. And then where am I? Style, right? Style is super important because style is really about culture, right? So, so is the culture of the company ready to accomplish its goal? And then what holds all of them together is shared values, right? And so that has a lot of over, overlap with, with culture as well. But a lot of time, it's really interesting, I'm working on a project right now where we realized we actually have a lot of the, the outer S's together, but when we think about shared values and what are we really trying to get done, we realize different departments within the organization have a different idea of what that should be. And so our work is to kind of figure out how do we come together and make sure that we all have the same shared values so we can accomplish the outcome. So the 7S model, it was created by McKinsey back in the 70s. It's, a, it's an absolutely great model if you're trying to really look at your organization and figure out like, what's going on here? I mean, you can even do top line like, what's up with my staff? What's up with my systems? What's up with the skills of my company? You know, what is our strategy? Hopefully you can document what your strategy, what your strategy is. What skills do we have or what skills are necessary? And on and on, right? So I, I think it's a really great tool. So what I love about the 7S is it actually hangs really well with the marketing canvas that we use, right? So one of the, it's so funny, when, when we go and do these sprints with, with big companies where we, you know, we go in for a day and we kind of rip apart the marketing strategy, we put it back together. A lot of times the, the place that we're doing the biggest amount of work is in really zeroing in on the value proposition. Right, because the value proposition has so much to do with both strategy and culture, and those those pieces are really important. We'll sometimes realize that you know a company has great systems and processes, and you know training, and they've got all this stuff, but they're kind of lacking some of, some of the soft stuff, which is making sure that that um, they've got the right culture to to complement their strategy. So. That's why I use the 7S model so much alongside with the marketing canvas. So, hey, I've been telling you um, our marketing canvas process took me 20 years to um, realize that that there is a, a pretty clear um, nine things if you, if you want to develop a, a really comprehensive marketing strategy no matter what you're doing. And I wrote an ebook, I'm giving it away for free. So um, if you want that, just go to freemarketingcanvas.com, freemarketingcanvas.com, and you can have the ebook that actually takes you through the nine steps of, of an integrated uh, marketing plan. But also I'm gonna give you the link in the notes. Really check out the 7S strategy. It's just a great framework for kind of diagnosing your business. It's something you can pull out like once a year and just go like, what's going on here? Or if you're feeling like a breakdown in your company, like let me pull out my 7S tool and just kind of do a quick diagnostic. That's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.